people of the purple butterfly here otherwise known as people of seven on twitter and youtube people are elsewhere on the internet and my blog is located purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and i'm here to share i went on ebay the other day and got a lot of bond knitting machine classic accessories parts key plates and tools and when i say i got a bargain i paid fifteen fifty plus eleven fourteen for the shipping. It came in a medium sized priority mailbox, which usually goes eleven thirty four if you go to the post office to get this box of mail stuff. So they shorted themselves on the shipping. Anyway, let me show you what I got. In here is a roll counter that is very well made out of metal and plastic. The one that I bought for my machine was all plastic, maybe a couple of springs and very little metal, and I paid 30 bucks for it. This is worth more than everything I got, you know, and twice the price. Anyway, so I'm already a happy camper. I got two braces to hold the knitting machine onto the table. Mine came with four because I do have the extension, so if I ever decide to replace a part or get an extension that came without this, I got braces. So, score. Then I have two claw weights. Can never have too many claw weights. All these pieces, by the way, have a strip of pink nail polish on them. I guess whoever owned them before me was you know, marking, this is mine, you don't touch. You could tell it's mine because it's got nail polish on it. And I've been there, done that, so I get it. Okay, I also have three clamps. This is to hold your work onto the hem from the elastic. Um, well, I would have to explain how a knitting machine works to go there, but other people that use knitting machine will understand clamps are important. This thing, not real sure what it is, says Aunt Tilly's on it. Also got a strip of pink nail polish on it. It looks like a stiletto you use for sewing. But it'll come in handy for something, I'm sure. Then I got all four key plates. These are clear. Mine are not. But, well, mine are now because these are mine. Except for the little strip of pink nail polish. You never know it was ever used. These are pristine, brand new condition. Loving that. I got four greens and a yellow. These are your hold and working machine cards. A wax ring. Very important. When you use a knitting machine, sometimes it's hard to move the mechanism because parts, especially metal and plastic, well, in most machinery, you use oil to keep things moving. You can't do that when you work on a textile because that oil will get on your fabric. So instead, you use a wax ring, lubricates, keeps the machine parts moving. If it gets on the fabric itself, brushes right off. Nothing on your fabric to cause an issue. Then I have transfer tools. This is a three by two, two on this side, three on this side. It's real useful for making cables. This is a single and a three, or a one-three. This is a one-two combo. This is a single three. In other words, it has nothing at the bottom. And this is a latch hook tool. Now, the thing I find interesting about this, mine all had a handle type format. This is a flat plastic format. This is actually easier to grip in your hand, so that will come in handy. And all these things, oh, and I also have an old counter strip of stickers, and it came with a ripcord. Most knitters don't even learn how to use a ripcord until they've been working on a knitting machine for a few months to a year. All this stuff is worth about $75, and, well, more than that because this by itself is worth 30 and all I paid was $15. <laughs> anyway... If you're one of the people that go, you can't get good stuff off of eBay, yes, you can. Just check your seller's rating. Make sure it's not someone brand new if you're paranoid of these people are going to rip me off, so forth, so on. Because when you're dealing with stuff like this, 
This is obviously somebody was cleaning out their house for a yard sale or whatever. This cannot be replaced. It's the only one of its kind for that sale. Some people are making jewelry, custom made, no other, you know, duplicates or whatever. And it's an exclusive. And you're going to find artists and stuff like that on eBay or Etsy or places where people are selling what they make. I sell on eBay. I'm totally trustworthy. I have a rating of 207. 100% positive feedback. The thing about eBay celebrating is it's so important that if you go someplace like iOffer or Etsy, they're going to ask you what your eBay feedback rating is. If it's bad, you might not get many customers because that's one way that people know, hey, this is a trustworthy seller. So if you're not real sure about, you know, dealing with people on eBay, look at their seller rating. Look how many positives they got compared to negatives to neutrals and how many they have. I mean, I have 207. I've been on eBay for mm, six, seven years. And I buy, I sell, but I do it sporadically. I don't just continuously sell stuff. I might sell stuff one month, and I sell anything for a few months. But by the same token, if I need something, I type in a search engine, and I buy. But there are people that make their living on eBay. They're selling every day of the year. And they're also buying stuff every day of the year. So their feedback rating is going to be way up there. So that's how you check to see if an eBay seller is, you know, trustworthy and all that. It's hot in this room. I refuse to turn on the fan. And I refuse to open a window because it is winter time or fall in Cincinnati. And in Cincinnati, you get rain and snow in the same day. You get rain and sun in, at the same time. The weather changed too much for me to go there. I'm just going to modify temperature in the room. But anyway, that's what I got on eBay. I encourage you to check out what you could get at a bargain, especially if you're looking at something that's wholesale rate compared to, you know, because that's gently used. They could basically say it was new, but the fact that they used it once, it's gently used. And they're in pristine condition. So I'm going to be happy with this purchase for a long, long time. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay blessed. Bye now.